Well, there's an axiom in the military that says no plan survives contact with the enemy. And that's always been known. <laughs> But at the same yeah. time, what we do is we create these bureaucratic structures and processes and habits that even if we have people who want to be adaptable, they, they course at them and they course at how we think. They silo organizations, they limit communications, and they tend to pull information and decision making to higher and higher levels. And what I would argue in a fast paced environment that's as complex as this world, you have got to share information radically across the organization and push decision making down. Well, General, let me ask you about one specific aspect. I, I believe it's in Team of Teams, and it's certainly within your life. You had a JSOC, Joint Special Operations Command. Could you talk about, in terms of, you use the word adaptability, small unit cohesion as opposed to the big bureaucratic approach, not just to warfare, but to corporate governance, things like that? Yeah, if we start with the 2004 Men's Olympic basketball team, that disproved the idea that just putting great talent together was enough. You had to form teams. In the world in which I grew up, in special operations, small teams became the focus of everything, and we were very successful at it. The small teams we created were just extraordinarily agile and precise and effective. But when the, the problem became bigger and you had to scale that problem large, just taking a collection of small teams and putting them out against the enemy, we found was ineffective. In 2004 in Iraq, we found the best trained, most exquisitely prepared force ever fielded, which was in the task force I was honored to command, wasn't beating Al-Qaeda. Because they were inherently flexible and agile, not because they planned to be, but because they grew up in an area when information technology and the interconnectedness just allowed them to be spread out, to be franchise-like, much as ISIS is doing now. So we had to change our basic culture. We had to take the hierarchy that tried to command these small teams, we had to upend it, and we had to create this flatter structure in which the small teams were put into this network in which decisions were made very low, assets were traded between the teams very quickly, and we were able to decentralize operations, so we became very, very rapid. Hmm.